Hi, how's it going? Hey, question for you. Do you like to squish things? Smash them up, see what's inside. You do? Oh, thank goodness, because I have a fun experiment for you today. Kind of a mission, really, to collect a palette of colors. Kind of like an artist palette, only the colors we're collecting are not paint, they're colors from things that we find outside. You interested? Okay, let's go. You're gonna need one thing. Your nature journal, you got one? Great, bring it out. If not, that is totally fine. Grab some paper, maybe a clipboard. Pen or pencil, that helps too. You ready? Okay, let's go. When you start searching for different colors outside, flowers will probably be the first things that you notice. But there are so many different shades of green to find too. So I noticed you're getting a lot of green leaves. Do you think that the different green leaves will have different colors when you smush them on the paper? Yeah. Guess we'll see. <laughs> For this color smash, the challenge is to see if you can collect a whole palette of colors from the plants you find outside and keep a record of those colors in your nature journal. How do you do that? By smashing them in there, of course. But more on that in a sec. Your first step is to collect samples to experiment with. A couple things to be aware of though. Some plants can harm you if you touch them by giving you a rash, a sting, or being poisonous if you eat them. So please be aware of what not to touch in your neck of the woods. And definitely wash your hands when you're done with this activity. Okay? Okay, back to the fun part. Time to head outside and collect a variety. That means leaves, flowers, berries are all great. If you're picking flowers, look for ones that are bountiful or have already fallen off the plant. You can try samples of wild plants and those in your garden too. Searching for interesting samples to experiment with is a big part of this activity. What other discoveries do you make along the way while you're at it? And what kind of questions do you have about what you're finding? Here's one thing I'm wondering about. Will the fresh green tips on this conifer make the same color as the older needles? Let's try. So now that you have some things collected, let's get out our nature journals and record our findings. I like to set up a chart for recording information. This page will have space for three samples. I think I'll start here with this leaf. This is from a cascara tree, so I'll write that up here in this top box. And then in the middle box, I'm going to make a detailed drawing of it so that I can remember what exactly I got the color from. And then the fun part, I'm gonna scrunch it up and smash it right here on the page and see what color I get. You may be surprised by what colors come out of some of the things you try smashing up. Silas is excited to try out his own samples. He's starting with a fuchsia flower. That should be interesting. And then a lemon balm leaf. I love how he's taking time to make a nice, careful, detailed drawing of that leaf. So he even tried out some berries, some soil samples from different parts of our yard, and charcoal from the fire pit. What else can you find to add a different color to your palette? Have fun experimenting out there. Bye.